world <laughs> and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca if it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life then you my soul friend are in the right place. I'm so excited about this episode because in this episode we are speaking about personal development and the topic of this video is how to make the right choices. Let's get straight into the video. Making the right choices. How do you know if you are making the right choices or not, right? Many times we are in the space of our lives where we feel stagnant. We feel like we can't even move forward because we don't know what choice to make. And you have all of these options, but you ask yourself, I don't even know what to do. But before we get into the drip of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you make it official. If you are not a family member here at Mecca Mastery TV, because baby, I am dropping weekly soul food every single Monday. This is food for your soul, honey. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into it, really. When you are in a space in your life and you have all these decisions to make, but you don't know what choice to make, okay? You have choices to make when it comes to relationships, choices to make when it comes to your body. What should you eat? Should you be on a pescatarian diet? Are you really an omnivore? Okay, are you vegetarian? Are you vegan? Okay, you over here trying to make choices when it comes to your hair. Should you do this type of hairstyle when it comes to your nails? Um... Should you wear acrylic nails? Should you not? Should you be natural? Should you wear makeup? Should you not wear makeup, right? Um, you have choices when it comes to jobs. You know, what job should you take? Should this position be something that you take? Should you take over the family business? Should you start this business? Should you, should you write this book? The fitness stuff. Should you be doing this for fitness? What type of fitness training do you want to do? Choices, 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 right? And you are bombarded by all of them and it can leave you in a space where you don't know which is the best choice to make. But I'm going to help you out with that right now. First of all, just understand that you are a multifaceted being, okay? And just like nature, has her seasons, so does you and I. We are energy beings having a human experience. I say that almost every single video because we are, and we are so interconnected with nature. We are not separate from nature, okay? We are not separate from nature at all, right? And that's why they say that nature can be your greatest teacher. And I say that and I bring that up about nature having her seasons because we have those seasons within our own psyche. We have a fall season, we have a winter, we have a spring, spring and the summer season in our psyche. And I mention that because it's just like that with the choices and the things that you do in your life. They will change, okay? So how you did things in one phase or one season in your life, maybe last week, a week was a season, you know what I'm saying? Maybe last week, it might change this week because of your desires internally changes, which is what I wanted to touch on next. You know the best choice that you need to make based on what is your soul's deepest desire at the moment, right? What is your soul craving? This is why you cannot really have such a um, an attachment to anything, uh, an attachment to doing one one type of thing, a specific way of doing things, because as soon as your soul decides that he or she wants something different, it wants something different, it's going to be hard for you to actually flow with that change into that new desire because you're so attached to this external thing. You have a label. Let me give you an example. I started off um, training when I was taught like how to use weights and stuff because I always worked out. I'm just athletic, right? When I was taught how to use weights and everything of that nature, my ex-boyfriend taught me um, probably like six to eight years ago. Yeah, something like that. He taught me how to use, uh, uh, when he taught me how to use weights, he taught me in the style of strength training um, and powerlifting, right? So for so long, for over these years, I was doing powerlifting. But then I came to a point in my life where I was more focused on my business and my finances, and I just wanted to stay in the house more. And I wanted to spend less time in the gym. I didn't want to spend an hour and a half to two hours lifting, but this was all I knew. So my spirit was just going towards like walking, doing yoga, you know, probably doing two sets of squats in the morning and then some sit-ups and maybe something else and then I'm done. But I felt like this was wrong and I couldn't do this because of 
what I was taught. I felt like I was shortchanging myself. I felt like I was cheating. I was like, oh no. So now I'm in a space, I'm currently in that space right now where I've been just going easy on my body. And when the desire comes naturally for me to sling weights, which it is coming up, right? I will go sling weights. And within two weeks, my arms will be cut again. Plus I'm on a water fast right now. I'm on a, a seven day water fast. I'm not eating anything. I'm just drinking water and herbal tea. So most of my muscle, I'm not losing it as much. I'm on day four right now, but yeah, that was a small little flex, okay? Oh. <laughs> but yes, so that's an example, right? Of your desires actually changing. Um, before I went along with the desire, I was having havoc within me. It was a lot of distress and dis-ease within my spirit. I was stressed out because I wasn't going naturally to what my soul wanted. And your soul just changes over time for different things throughout life, right? Life, um, the experiences that you have in life will cause you to have new desires. So you might have a different experience that you go out to a lake one day and you feel serene from sitting down reading a book for three days straight and being with nature. So now you have this desire to probably be with nature when you get back home and you want to go more into your garden instead of freaking painting now. And then you think, oh, I'm cheating on painting, but you're not. How to know if you're making the right choice is to constantly go with inside of yourself and ask yourself, hey, spirit, what is it that we want right now in this area of my life? And how does that look? I recommend you going into a meditation or I recommend you journaling. Okay. Journaling is so perfect. Just listen, but honestly, to live from a detached space, have reverence and a deep respect for everything in life and experiences, but don't hold on to the experiences to the point where you label yourself by them. Just experience them, juice them, juice it. Literally when you are in an, in an experience, when you are thriving in an experience, when you are passionate about something, juice it, give it your all because it will come a time where it won't be juicy as, as it used to be. You won't have that thriving um, energy or that passion that you would have because your spirit is moving on to something new, into a new season, a new phase of something. Um, and then also, the last thing, how to know if you are making the right choice. You have to ask yourself if this is something that is authentic to you and what is your intention behind it, right? When I say, is this something that's authentic to you, what I mean is this. Many things that people do is not who they are. It's not coming from a true sense of who they are, right? It's coming from the voice of society, voice of mommy and daddy, meaning maybe the religion that you practice um, is because of mommy and daddy. How you carry out your spirituality is not authentic to you. You were told that you have to be Christian and go to church every Sunday. But going to church every Sunday has not just been, it's not been sitting well with you. And it's not that you feel that it's wrong or anything. It's just that you been called to do something different. Your spirit been calling you to connect with the divine in a different way. Maybe spirit has been calling you to connect with the divine and tarot cards or maybe yoga as your spiritual thing on a Sunday and yoga class and you're praying and meditating or you're, you're doing rituals or you're setting your intentions in a journal. How, you know what I mean? So whatever you are doing in each area of your life, if it's causing distress or discomfort, it might not be authentic to you. And so that's when you have to really go on a journey and just experiment um, in those areas, you know, what is say fitness, nutrition, your environment, whatever, relationships, your friends, divine partner, if it actually feels authentic to you. And the more it does feel authentic to you, that's when you say, okay, this is feeling authentic to me. Okay, I do like this. This is making me feel away. This is not making me feel away. And then make small adjustments from there. And that's it. And I hope you love this video and you share this with somebody that you care about because we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV that sharing is caring. If you're on social media, make sure you follow me on my social media platforms here on the screen. And if you have any advice, because I take advice too, okay, of how I can improve the channel, please email me at meccabookings at gmail.com. You can also email me there to also ask any questions if you need any advice on anything or to give me topics that, um, that you would like me to talk about. If you want to talk to me personally to get a coaching session, I don't coach for free, y'all, so don't be emailing me with paragraphs because people do. If you want to talk to me personally, I have something called pick my brain sessions. You can pick my brain and talk to me for an hour. The link is in the description box below. Also check out everything that we have to offer here as far as 
food for your soul and virtual guides as far as learning how to meditate seven day um, guided meditation program i have a program called 21 day healing plan if you're trying to start your spiritual journey and you don't know where to start um, i have a guide for childhood trauma course so much more check that all out below in the description box below or by going to my website meccafreeman.com okay and with with further ado, as I always say, you, my soul friend, you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action and alignment. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind, your body, and your soul to. Alignment is the goal. I'm sending my love, my light, peace, tranquility, good ass vibes, high frequency and vibrations and love your way. Until next time, I see you in the next episode with peace and love. See you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>